The overarching goal of this project is to create technologies that allow us to mine medical imaging data at scale. We have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of patients with MRIs and CTs available in the Vanderbilt Medical Record System, and orders of magnitude more that in, than that in the country. So the cornerstone of this project in terms of science is the creation of a 4D atlas, or map, of the developing human brain. And by 4D, I mean the X, Y, and Z spatial dimensions, the shape and size of all the different components, as well as how this grows over time. And we want to fold in extra layers of complexity, notably demographics, developmental stage, gender, all of these things, so that we can create a customized template of what a normal developing brain would look like for any child. We have grand visions of how this model of developing anatomy will shape neuroscience on a 10 to 20 year scale. But if we think immediately in the five year time scale at the end of this project, we'll actually have the ability to do tangible good. For example, consider a patient who is bringing their child into the ER for a possible head trauma or under, some understanding of an abnormality or headaches or that kind of thing. Now, when you get a radiologist report, the radiologist tells you that this and this things are happening and maybe they walk you through the images and give you a stack of films to take home or a CD that you can look at. However, these are very, very large, complex images with sort of scary medical-like pictures, and it's very difficult for us to conceptually understand what is going on and is this really normal. I think that at the end of this project, we will be able to hand a patient, in addition to their own child scan, an adapted atlas of, this is what we've mapped from tens of thousands of other children, and you either fall within the range of this and it's normal and okay, or here are the specific areas where there may be cause for concern and the medical system may need to do something for the patient.